Hello everyone, now let us discuss about quality guidelines for stability that are mainly given by Q1 guideline. The Q1 guideline is again divided into Q1A to Q1F. And in the current session, in addition to the Q1A to 1F guidelines, we will be discussing the targeted revisions of the ICH stability guideline series, which mainly targets the ICH Q1 and ICH Q5C guidelines. Now, as we have discussed earlier, the Q1 mainly deals with stability and the Q1 guideline is further subdivided into Q1A to Q1F. Q1A mainly deals with stability testing of new drug substances and products. Q1B deals with photostability testing. Photostability testing of new drug substances and products. And Q1C deals with stability testing for new dosage forms. And Q1D deals with bracketing and matrixing designs for stability testing of new drug substances and products. Q1E, E for evaluation. Remember E for evaluation. Q1E deals with evaluation of stability data. Whereas Q1F deals with stability data package for registration applications in climatic zones 3 and 4. In addition to that, Q1 slash Q5C EWG. EW is nothing but expert working group has been established for targeted revisions of the ICH stability guideline series. Now coming to the targeted revisions of the ICH stability guideline series. This topic was endorsed by the ICH assembly in June 2021. And additionally, the concept paper and business plan for targeted revisions of the ICH stability guideline series were released in November 2022. And the Q1A/Q5C EWG was established. EWG is nothing but expert working group. It was established to revise the current ICH stability guideline series by streamlining the series combining the various guidelines into a single guideline focused on core stability principles, promoting harmonized interpretation by addressing potential gaps and areas of ambiguity, addressing additional technical issues, including relevant stability strategies and innovative tools that strengthen the application of risk management, and also considering inclusion of new topics. The revisions also consider the inclusion of new topics such as stability considerations for advanced therapies. The envisioned result for the targeted revisions is, is to combine the guideline ICHQ1 with integrated annexes and or appendices that address the specific topics beyond the core stability recommendations and principles addressing drug product types, including substances, intermediates, and the devices. The proposal, that is the targeted revisions, are anticipated to tackle certain issues that are faced by the existing guideline, such as the current stability guidelines are written as individual chapters, which leads to interpretation of the chapters on an individual basis with uncertainty around how they should work together. This leads to variability in the application and interpretation. Furthermore, certain topics within the guideline are routinely interpreted differently by users and regulators. And the perceived ambiguity leads to diverging expectations. The stability chapters do not reflect modern analytical technologies and tools and incorporation of the guideline and associated training activities that address the use of stability modeling and risk management could enable earlier patient access to high quality medicines. One more issue is the current guideline does not address the stability considerations for advanced and emerging product types. These are some of the issues that can be tackled by the proposed revisions. As we have discussed earlier, what are the resources that are required for this targeted revisions? The first one is we need to establish a expert working group. 
one expert working group which is nothing but ewg will be designated to establish a core stability guideline for the stability evaluation of pharmaceuticals incorporating core content of ichq 1a to 1f and also q5c under ichq1 and the ewg should include regulators and the industry representatives with background and expertise in either the technical and regulatory aspects or both of the pharmaceutical stability and the representatives should comprise should comprise the expertise in chemistry manufacturing and controls which is nothing but cmc gmp also which is nothing but food manufacturing practices api or drug substance drug product small and large molecules statistics and predictive modeling and the ewg should also include experts in cell and gene therapy product types to help add this topic in the revised guideline now let us see the expected time frame of the project the revision is anticipated to take 3 years to complete with a targeted delivery by the end of 2025 Now let us see some of the key milestones that have been achieved and that are expected to be achieved. The Q4 in the fourth quarter of calendar year 2022 final concept paper and business plan have been released. And Q4 calendar by Q4 calendar year 2024 step 1 is anticipated to be completed. And by Q4 calendar year 2025 complete step 4 and training materials this is the expected time frame of the project thank you for watching please subscribe for further videos on ich guidelines and other related pharmaceutical sciences